Hey, my name is Alvo, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to convert photos into a time-lapse video. So what you're gonna wanna do is plug in your memory card. Once you plug it in, it should pop it up. So click on the new card that you just inserted and then select the photos that you're gonna be using for your time-lapse video. Once you select all your photos, you're gonna wanna come up to File, click New Folder with Selection. Once a new folder is created, go ahead and name the folder. Ideally, you would give it a very specific name. This way it's easy to locate in the future. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna call it test. Once it's named, go ahead and click this new folder we created. Make sure they're in order from oldest to newest. What we're gonna wanna do is go through each photo and make sure there's nothing wrong with any of these photos so we can remove them before it gets to the final video. Change the view right here to gallery view. This will allow you to see each photo. Select the first one and then using your right arrow key, Go ahead and just navigate through each photo and see if there's any misfires or overexposed photos or underexposed photos. We want to find any issues and remove them before it makes it to the final video. All right, so once we're done going through all the photos, what we're going to want to do is take this document and import it into our computer. And the way we do this is by selecting it and just dragging it into our documents shouldn't take too long depending on the size of the file go ahead and go into documents where we should have the new folder created right here test next just double check make sure the time is still in order from oldest to newest select the first photo scroll all the way to the bottom and then shift click the last photo right click and click rename what we want to do is rename the photos so i'm going to type in test for the example and I always select the number that's in the thousands. I usually select 7,000. Every time I pick the number that's less than a thousand, for some reason, the time lapse in Adobe Premiere will leave out some frames. From my experience, it works best when you pick a number that's greater than a thousand. For my example, I'm gonna use test and 7,000 and click rename. Okay, once everything's been renamed, just double check, scroll all the way to the top and make sure nothing was left out. So our job here is done. Next up is to get into Adobe Premiere Pro and convert these photos into a video. All right, once you're in Adobe Premiere Pro, what you're gonna wanna do is click Command I. This will prop up the import. Go ahead and click Documents, and let's try to find that new folder we just created, which was called Test. So there it is. We're gonna click it, double click it. This will open up the new folder we just created. Make sure it's in order, and you could tell from the numbers, so make sure it's in chronological order. Down here, click Show Options, and you'll see this option called Image Sequence, and make sure it's selected. See, mine was deselected, so we're gonna select it, and we're gonna click Import. Next, we're gonna drag this over into our timeline, and if we click Play, we'll have a video. And that's how you convert photos into a time-lapse video. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe and join my newsletter, which I give out information like this every two weeks. Peace.